Here are the starters for the 10th race trot. The one, CR Pants on fire, and by Don Rene Allen, driver Robert Blanton Jr. Two Annie's SJ, owned by David Charth. Annie's SJ, the fifth. Peter Heffering, Jim Matinas, the driver. Three, Fulfilled Dreams, owned by MJG Racing Stables and Company, Hillview Enterprises, Joe Pavia, Jr. Four, Quackpot, owned by Denzel Carpenter, Jamie Baslaw, Steve Smith, Steve Smith Drives. Five, Metal Brains Phil, owned by Nordic, Lindy Stable and Company, Sean Beer. Six, Columbus Hanover, owned by Jan and Douglas Snyder. Doug Snyder drives. Seven, Bernie, owned by Cruz Racing Stable and Company, Breen and Cooksey, and Breen, the driver, Jack Rice. The eight, Tiff Tough Tag, owned by Kerry Norris, WRL Stables, Can-Am Stable, and Bill Ants, driver, Charlie Norris, in the sulky six minutes until post time on the 10th. They step around the turn. And here they come. On a break goes the two Annie's SJ. On the outside, Columbus Hanover moves right on the front end tonight. Between her trotters, Quackpot is now racing second outside. Bernie is third. CR Pants on fire, racing fourth at the rail. Fulfilled Dreams is back in line fifth. Racing sixth at the rail. Metal Branch Phil, Tiff Tough Tag is seventh. And at the end after the break is Annie's SJ. They're on their way around the turn to the quarter mile mark in Columbus Hanover. Bounds along by a length that quarter, 29 second flat. In front of the stands along the rail, racing second is Quackpot. Back in line third to Bernie. CR Pants on fire fourth. Fulfilled Dreams gets antsy. Racing fifth, trying to flush some cover. Comes to the outside. At the rail, six is Metal Branch Phil. Racing seven on the inside. Tipped up tag, and Annie's SJ is last. On the way around the turn to the half-mile mark, Columbus Hanover with the lead, having things his own way. They roll to the half-mile mark on the outside. Fulfilled Dreams is flying at the half. They get there, 59-3. and three. They're on the back side. Fulfilled Dreams on the outside gets the lead. Columbus Hanover will not give it up easy. These two have skipped away now by five lengths. They're on the back side. Top two are eyeball to eyeball, toe to toe. They go to three quarters. Fulfilled Dreams on the outside at the rail. Columbus Hanover, they roar into the three-quarter mile mark. At the rail racing third to three quarters right there is Quackpot. They're on to the three-quarter mile mark and Columbus Hanover has captured the lead. Three quarters, one, 27. They swing around the turn. With the lead on top, it is Columbus Hanover by two at the rail. Fulfilled Dream second. Racing third at the rail. Quackpot, they're off the turn. They come for the wire. Columbus Hanover turned first at the rail. Fulfilled Dream through the lane. They come on top. Columbus Hanover as they come to the wire. Doug Snyder getting all over this one. Late kick by Quackpot on the outside to the wire. Columbus Hanover gets it done. Quackpot was second. Bernie finished third. 156 and three fifths. In the winner's circle, the official winner of the race number 10, the sixth Columbus Hanover, a three-year-old gelding by American winner, owned by Jan and Doug Snyder of Cannonsburg, Pennsylvania. Dane Snyder, the trainer, Doug Snyder, the driver, and Columbus Hanover rolling up big for the fourth win in a row in 156 and three-fifths, the sixth win in the year 2001 for the sixth Columbus Hanover. Tenth race, so official, the one CR pants on fire with six. Two Annie's SJ, eight. Three fulfilled dreams, four.